is a hectic moment for the troubled agency charged with ending or area's homeless crisis. The King County Regional Housing Authority has been spending millions of dollars with even more federal help on the way, but it's been stalled by controversy over its multi-billion dollar five-year plan, a shouting match over a sex offender, and as of Tuesday, the agency has no CEO. But as Zach Anders explains tonight, they are still moving ahead. Zach? Yeah, it's the body responsible with that massive task of finding King County's estimated 53,000 homeless a place to live. They say they've done so already for 5,600 of those people, but still, that progress is under scrutiny. Next is Raven Crawford. The latest KCRHA headline is worldwide. Seattle scorned in London's Daily Mail over a fight that played out when a registered sex offender was nominated to an official subcommittee. And everyone, everyone deserves housing. I don't care if they're a sex offender. I don't care if they're black. I don't care if they're indigenous. I don't care if they're a criminal. I don't care if they're coming out of jail, prison. Everyone deserves housing. Committee Chair Shani Colston. If anyone wants to talk like that, you will be muted and even removed from this meeting. Seen here defending the nominee has been asked to resign by the KCRHA. But the major resignation came in the form of CEO Mark Doan stepping down Tuesday. Doan's salary and that of roughly 100 other staff members has been criticized as a major expense in an operating budget that jumped over $80 million last year. KCRHA says administrative outflow is just 5% of its total budget, arguing that they still need more to finish their mission. We want to be clear with the public and with our boards that without new funding, we will not have enough shelter or housing to bring significantly more people inside. Today, in a different committee, the vote to move ahead on a delayed five-year action plan was unanimous. And I think we've ended up with a, a plan that is really focused on what our job is at the KCRHA. Um, and I hope that it brings people together. This five-year outline scaled back a $10 billion version instead of a $12 billion version. A price tag outgoing CEO Doan's claimed could end homelessness here. Where exactly those dollars need to go will be outlined in later planning starting June 1st. Federal figures pin King County as the nation's third largest homeless population. Now yesterday, Seattle's mayor and the King County executive met with President Biden to launch an initiative where they aim to reduce homelessness by 25% nationwide in two years. From Seattle today, Zach Anders, Fox 13 News.